New this morning from WRTV Investigates, it's all about making sure Indigo's red line buses don't run out of power. Only on WRTV, a look at a new technology at work to make sure it benefits you on your bus ride. This stop is part of a major fix to keep the electric buses on the red line recharged and on their routes longer. It helps me keep me on time. After we drop passengers off down at 66th Street, we come around this way. Jeffrey Howard has been on the job for 13 years. I love the job. And he believes the new technology will ensure you get to your destination without delay. Much, much better, much better, because I don't have to worry about losing charge or if I'm gonna make it to the to the south side or not. When the battery will lose charge, it has to be taken off, have to go get another one, or sometimes they would even stop, and that would interfere with our on-time performance. In 2019, WRTV Investigates exposed the problem with the electric red line buses. We found that the manufacturer, BYD, sold buses to Indigo that could not maintain their promised charge, especially in cold weather. In November 2019, we documented the number of buses unable to complete their route because they ran out of power. Caution, bus is turning. BYD did set up a temporary charging station to help with the situation. And now, BYD has installed a new multi-million dollar fix. It's called in route inductive charge. The bus must hover over these four blue squares. Once it's fully charged, the bus can pull out and it's back on its route. Here's a closer look at the process. I'll pull up until my uh, gauges are aligned, 100%, perfectly aligned. The drivers the line up their red line bus with the power charging technology <laughs> embedded in the road at 64th and College. There you go, starting to charge. The drivers, they're alerted when the batteries are recharged and ready to go. Jeff goes through this routine at least three times per shift. It works out great. Indigo has yet to pay BYD for the red line buses. A payment could be made if this fix proves to be reliable. BYD has been a good faith partner. You're right. In the beginning, these buses were not living up to their promise. We were disappointed, and we've been working with BYD to remedy those problems. We have not paid BYD a dime for these buses, and we will not pay BYD a dime until we are confident that we will get out of these buses what we were promised and what we expect to get out of them. Indigo is seeing some progress. They are reporting some good results since that charging system was put in place in August. The electric buses are going more than 200 miles per day versus the 275 miles initially promised by the manufacturer BYD. Now BYD is investing $4 million on the power charging technology you just saw deployed for now in two of three sites across the area. And new details this morning. Despite the history with BYD, Indigo is planning to order 28 new BYD buses to service the Purple Line. That will cost $37.8 million. The Purple Line, as you know, will connect service between Indianapolis and Lawrence. WRTV Investigates is asking if doing business, more business with BYD is a good idea considering the red line experience. When you look at the market, the next nearest competitor to this bus doesn't get close to the range that we are getting. Number two, these buses and the, the system that we have is designed very specifically for these buses. So the 20 plus stations that we have along the red line and the stations that are planned for the purple and the blue line were designed so that they line up perfectly with this BYD bus. And then finally, BYD has proven to be a good partner. They're motivated. They haven't received a dime yet for the investment so far. And so they're motivated to make sure that these buses work, that they work well, that they live up to their promise. So so that they can receive payment. Indigo has yet to pay BYD $38.8 million for those red line buses. We'll keep on top of that developing story. Tonight, Indigo's board will vote on the purchase of the new purple line buses. The City County Council will review that purchase plan in December. Construction of the purple line begins next spring with service set to start in 2024.